John spoke on Across the Universe saying, it's one of the best lyrics I've written. In fact, it could be the best. It's good poetry, or whatever you call it, without chewing it. See, the ones I like are the ones that stand as words, without melody. They don't have to have any melody, like a poem. You can just read them. This is probably the best explanation for why this song is so fantastic. John came up with the song after lying awake one night after an argument with his then-wife, Cynthia. He thought about how the words just kept flowing out of her. Instead of turning the idea into an angry song, he used the concept to create something mystical. He wrote all the lyrics first that night, and later brought it to the rest of the band to work on. Jai Garuva Deva roughly translates to Victory to God Divine, with Om being a significant part of Hindu. John added this as a reference to the Maharishi. It was actually intended to be released when they were in India, but it was decided that Lady Madonna should go out instead. John wasn't happy with the initial recording of the track, saying, The guitars are out of tune, and I'm singing out of tune because I'm psychologically destroyed, and nobody's helping me or helping me with it, and the song was never done properly. They began recording the track in February of 1968 resulting in multiple takes, each with different feels, instruments, and experimentation. To add some female vocals, they stepped outside the studio building and found some fans who were lucky enough to be invited inside and sing, Nothing's Gonna Change My World. The two fans were Lizzie Bravo and Galing Peace. Despite crafting a usable track, it was shelved in favor of Lady Madonna. At one of the sessions was Spike Milligan, who liked the song and asked if it could be used on an upcoming World Wildlife Fund charity album that featured other artists. This would be the first version released in October of 1969 and would include animal and children's sound effects. This version is sped up, thus changing the key. Despite already being released, it would be included in Let It Be as John played it during the sessions. He was very happy with the Phil Spector revisions to the track. Spector added instrumentation, choir, echo, and slowed the track down. Paul had been outspoken of his distaste for the Spector edits, despite John's praise. John got nasty in speaking on the track and Paul's involvement, saying, The Beatles didn't make a good record of it. I think subconsciously, sometimes we, and I say we, though I think Paul did it more than the rest of us, Paul would sort of subconsciously try and destroy a great song. He subconsciously tried to destroy songs, meaning that we'd play experimental games with my great pieces, like Strawberry Fields, which I always felt was badly recorded. He'll deny it because he's got a bland face, and he'll say the sabotage doesn't exist. But this is the kind of thing I'm talking about, where I always was seeing what was going on. I began to think, well, maybe I'm paranoid. But it's not paranoid. It's absolute truth. Ouch. I first heard the track in college while listening to all of the original material that would be covered in the upcoming film of the same name that was coming out that year. I agree with John that it's wonderful poetry on its own and that it sounds much better with the Spectre add-ons. I have this distinct memory of sitting alone in my dorm with headphones on, listening to this track, and just really connecting with it. I was out on my own for the first time, with my entire future ahead of me. It was a daunting and awe-inspiring feeling, with the track providing the perfect soundtrack to that feeling. Again, I think what makes tracks like this so timeless is the connections that we make with them, and how they work their way into our very DNA, and maybe something a little bit beyond. The content on this channel is made possible from viewers like you. Help the channel grow by liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time.